Hey, hey, let's take a look at interest today. A lot of times kids go, when is this ever gonna, when am I ever gonna use this or whatever? Here you go, this interest. Okay, let's define principal interest and simple interest first. Principal is the amount of money, let's say that you borrow. Let's say you you're, you're, you're wanna go to Starbucks and get a large coffee, so you borrow $5,000, okay. Well, the guy, the bank charges you, let's say, 10% interest, and you're gonna need to figure out, okay, $5,000 I gotta pay back. Interest is basically the cost, the price of borrowing money. That's it. So, um, interest would be 10% on this. So you'd, be, you'd go, what is 10% of 5,000? You'd find out what that was. You'd add that to your principal, which is the 5,000. That's what you're, you're gonna pay the bank to get that delicious Starbucks coffee. Okay, simple interest means it doesn't compound on top of it each, each, uh, each year. And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, I think Albert Einstein, one of these, like before he invented the light bulb, um, said something about how compound interest is one of the most incredible mysteries of the universe. So anyhow, we'll talk about that in a second. So let's do a couple of problems. Jim puts five grand in the bank for two years at 8% in simple interest. How much money will he get if he withdraws it in two years? Well, the key here is simple interest, which means he puts five grand in the bank and gets 8%. Well, your question is, what is 8% of $5,000? Okay, well, we know how to figure that out as an algebra problem, right? What X? is equals 8% U, U.08 of times 5,000. And there we go, okay? Now here's a trick I'm gonna show you. Make sure you know this, all right? Rather than go over here and go 5,000 times 0 .08, which you can, it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, you can do that if you want to. What you can do is you can go, ugh, I hate these decimals. I'm moving this thing over twice to make this an eight. To make things equal, since you've multiplied this by 100, you're going to have to divide this by 100 or move the decimal over to the left in the other one. So this is the same thing as 8 times 50, which is 400. Okay? Simple interest means that he earns $400 each year. So he earns $400 the first year and $400 the second year, which is $800 plus the $5,000. He gets $5,800 in two years. That's simple interest. All right. Let's do another one. 8% simple interest, Maria deposits $800 in the bank. Well, at the end of three years, how much money will she have? Well, the question you're asking is, how much or what is 8% of 800? Okay, so you could go like this. What is 8% of 800? And you can do the same trick if you want to. No decimals, I'm moving this over, eight. Oop, I'm gonna move this over. There you go, eight times eight, of course, is 88. No, it's not. It's 64. Okay. So that is what she's going to earn at, in one year. So if it's three years, you just multiply 64 times three, and that's the interest Maria will have earned at the end of three years. Add that to her, and what this is called, the amount she started off with, or amount she either she had or either she borrowed. That's called the something sepal print. So she adds 64 times three, which is 192, plus 800, which is 992. All right, this one is compound interest. Well, compound, you know, if you have like problems, oh, my problems are all compounding on top of each other. Uh, if you're getting, you know, if you're earning money on your, on your uh, like your principal, compound interest is even better. It's fantastic, okay? We'll do, we'll do formulas later on that, to talk about this, but we'll just do a simple one now. Engelbert, the, Deposited $800 at 8% compound interest. At the end of three years, how much money will he have? Well, what happens here is that Engelbert, at the end of one year, will earn 8% interest, right? So he starts with $800. At the end of year one, the interest he earns will be $64, right? Because 8% times 800 is that. So at the end of year one, so his total is going to be $864, right? Now at the end of year two, he's not only going to earn 8% interest on the 800, he's now going to earn the 8% interest on that. Okay? So even better. So what we, what we can do is this. There's a slow way and an easy way we can do this. The slow way is to go, okay, 
$864 times, you know, 0 0.08. I'm going to do all this work, blah, 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 and I get an answer. Oh, and that's how much interest I earned this year off of that. Now I'm going to add this number to the 864 and then, you know, then I'll, you know, I'll jump off a cliff by the time this is all done. Okay. An easier way to do how much he's going to earn at the end of year two is to simply multiply this by 1.08. Just do it like that. So you do 864 times 1.08. Hey Siri, what's 864 times 1.08? 864 times 1.08 is 933.12. All right, now that's the end of year two, right? So to find out at the end of three years, what are you going to multiply 1.08 uh, by? You're going, to multiply, you're going to multiply it by this, right? Hey Siri, what's 933.12 times 1.08? 933.12 times 1.08 is 1,007.7696. Okay, that's how much money Engelbert has after three years of 8% interest. Okay, um, it's compounding, not just on his 800, but the bank is going, oh, well, at the end of one year, he has that much money. We're going to pay 8% interest on all that. And then at the end of two years, he has that. We're going to go, okay, we're going to pay 8% interest on that. And at the end of the, you know, just keep going. So there are all kinds of neat things you can do to, to like, there are calculators online that you can go, oh, if I put $1,000 in the bank and it's 5% interest, after 40 years of compound interest, how much money will I have? And, you know, anything. So it's interesting. So, all right, let's try another one here. How much will $700 be worth in two years if the money is deposited at 9% interest compounded annually? Well, Let's, let's, I think we can do the first part in our heads, right? So if you have $700, let's just do the first year. 9% of 700, we can tell it's going to be $63, right? So at the end of one year, you have $763, correct? In other words, you have multiplied 700 times 1.09 is what you've done, okay? Or you've done 9% of 763 dollars plus 700 dollars is 763. Okay, at the, at the end of two years, now this is what you're going to go. Okay, 763 times 1.09. That is going to be your answer at the end of two years. Hey Siri, what is 763 times 1.09? 763 times 1.09 is 831.67. That's how much money you'll have at the end of two years. So that beats just making $63 every year. They're not taking it just from your 700. They're taking it from what your new amount is every year. So it's much easier. Okay. All right. Let's take a look on page 340 and let's take a look, uh, do the first one first and see what you get. So pause it. Okay. Elvira puts that much in the bank at 9%, blah, blah, blah. How much money after two years? Okay. So we need to figure out what is 9%. 0 0.09 of times 7,000, right? That's our first problem. So you can yoink this over twice, so x is equal to 9, then let's go over twice, times 70, well that's $630. Now it's simple interest, so that's what she's going to be making every year, okay? So what we would do is we would say $7,000, you know, plus 630, plus another 630, That'll give us $8,260. Okay, keep that figure in your head, all right? All right, go ahead and pause it and try B. Okay, well, the difference in B is at the end of one year, we know she's going to have $7,630 at the end of one year, right? Now, at the end of the second year, since it's compounded, we're not calculating 9% interest on $7,000 still. We're ca calculating 9% interest on that much. So we would multiply this by 1.09. And I would, at this point, I would, if I were you, go ahead and just do the arithmetic and make sure it's correct. Let's check it. Hey Siri, what's 7,630 times 1.09? 7,630 times 1.09 is 8,316.7. Okay, now look at this. This is after two years of compounded interest. 
This is after two years of just simple interest. We could probably do this giant study where after 10 years, this number here would be way more than that number if you just kept doing it each year at $630 in interest. So anyway, okay, that is it for today. See y'all next time and have a great day. Thanks.